Lenny Henry, what are we doing here? We're at the Hackney Empire because um, we're launching Rudy's Rare Records, which is a brand new stage show based on a radio sitcom that I've been doing for the last few years, written by uh, Danny Robbins and starring myself, Larrington Walker, Javan Wade, and many others. It's a, a fun, sort of family type show with a predominantly black cast uh, that's set in Hansworth in Birmingham. This comes on the heels of a period during which you were told to go back to some black country. It's not a period drama, it's... Uh, it's no, I mean, oh, it's do you mean now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this oh, yeah. On, th th this event. I think the, the, actual, the actual quote was, um, if Lenny Henry wants to watch black people on television, he should go to a black country. And everybody on Twitter replied, but Lenny's from the black country. <laughs> Um, and, uh, Dudley, to be precise. Dudley, yeah, I'm from Dudley. Do you think Britain is going backwards when it comes to race relations? Uh, uh, is that a trick question? It is not a trick question. I, I, it feels a bit like it sometimes. I've had a I mean, I've London doesn't feel like that, but there are parts of. Well, the London is 40% BAME, so it shouldn't yeah. feel like that. Although, you know, I, when I was on Twitter the other day. Uh, I did, after the BAFTA speech, there was a lot of stick. There was a lot of UKIP and BNP chatter. So um, it, it certainly doesn't feel, it feels like any change has been infinitesimal. It feels it, small. And everybody, everybody acknowledges from Trevor McDonald, Krishna and Guru Murthy, uh, you know, everybody acknowledges that there's a problem of representation in the media and it needs to change. It just does. You know, more, it, it it Dorian, so Lawrence, Dorian Lawrence did an interview at the BBC the other day and, and she said look around there's no you know whenever you go and do an interview and she's done a lot of interviews it's hugely undiverse this industry is it is it solely about ethnicity or is it also about class no it's about class it's about gender it's about sexuality it's about everything diversity is lots of things i can only talk about i can only wave my flag from where i stand but um if you're a person with a disability you're going to wave your flag if you're if you're concerned about gay and lesbian affairs you're going to wave that flag you know, diversity is a, is a problem for all of us. You know, Shakespeare said we, we've got to hold a mirror up to society. Well, at the moment, BAMEs, blacks, Asians, minorities, ethnics, others, are 14.3% of the population. But it's and when they watch TV or when they go to make a TV program, they are hugely unrepresented, and that needs to change. But it's about other perceptions too, about education, about class. You know, I'm looking up to you because you're doing a PhD. I don't even have a degree. Don't so, you? No. Well, only you I fooled them all. No, I got thrown out of university, so I didn't get any chance. But I mean, Did you? I never, I never you know, got the opportunity to, to go to university. I was never. I went to, to a, I went to a sink school. I would have loved to have been thrown out, but I was never, um, because we were working class, and I didn't pass the eleven plus. See, this, this is what I'm interested in. And all that it, stuff it is what you're looking at in terms of diversity. Going to embrace the issue of class, which is never addressed. In this country, I mean, well, class certainly has a lot to do with it, you know. I mean, a lot of if you think of the the uh, the, the boards, a lot of the boards in in the country, yeah. I think there's one black person on a board. It's it's some stupid statistic like that. I can't stand the statistics, by the way. To me, when politics politicians start talking about statistics, it's usually a way of to spin plates while they think of what they're going to actually do. Um, so uh, I, I think. I think it is about class. I think if they keep fishing from the same gene pool to run everything, they're going to get the same fish. But they're going to get it, the same will, product. It's about, uh, it's about sort of widening the parameters of who is, who is allowed to be a commissioner and a green lighter and a picker and a decider. Who decides who does what, why, when and where? Well, that's a big, big thing to crack. Isn't it? it is a big thing. Um, it's a structural thing, which is why I welcome Tony Hall's um, initiatives. But they are initiatives. And what people want is to work. They don't want an initiative. Initiatives are usually short term, and at the end, they go, "Well, well done. Thank you for doing our initiative. Off you pop." And you don't want tokenism, what needs to happen token is token jobs. No, tokenism is not what we're and after. And you don't want quotas. No, no, we don't want quotas. We want ring fence to money, which is different. Quotas are about filling, filling slots with whoever you've got, as long as it kind of yes, you can. We get six janitors. We get two people in the canteen. We get three people on security. Good, we filled that quota. We want quality based. Uh, ring-fenced money, where people have to vie for and compete for the job. In fact, in a multicultural society, you want a meritocracy. Yeah. Well, that's actually what most people want. Yeah. It's simple. And so when people accuse you of being racist and wanting, wanting the moon on a stick, you're not asking for the moon on a stick. You're just asking for a level playing field. And, you know, because of class and because of poverty and because of where people have come from, it's going to take a while to level that field. And how long is a while? Well, you know, it's, it's taken us 14 years to get this this far. I wouldn't I wouldn't be popping up on any bubbly just yet. It's very it's a very positive but tiny step forward, and, and we have to kind of celebrate every 
little victory we get. And look at this show, you know, we're here at the Hackney Empire, we're going to be in Birmingham, we're doing a little tour. That's great, but it's a tiny step forward. And I'd love to see more. I'd like to, you know, I'd like to kind of come out to a press call and see a more diverse camera posse. I'd like to be, you know, when I go and do a press thing and the, all the people sit with their little tape recorders, I'd like to see that be more diverse. Behind the screen, both male, female, gender, sexuality, I'd like just more diversity. It's good. It's a good thing.